green packaging is not just replacing all the current packagings by by way of some kind of a biodegradable material or a sustainable or recyclable material or something like that. There are many, many initiatives. It's not just directly uh, doing something on the packaging itself. They need a, a, a different uh, packaging material, uh, multiple laminates um, using foils, uh, PVC, uh, and a whole uh, lot of other materials also. Nevertheless, um, uh, efforts are on to make the uh, material uh, uh, more recyclable, uh, elimination of the PVC by using uh, polyethylene and uh, PET. Uh, some research is happening and also I think uh, some uh, good progress has been made already, uh, reducing the thickness of the film what we are using by eliminating PVC also. At the same time, uh, reducing uh, the overall uh, material use also. And making uh, uh, more important is uh, making the material more recyclable, actually. That's more important of all the products uh, in the pharmaceutical industry. Currently, what being used, many times uh, you might end up with some surprises, definitely, I'm sure. If you uh, take the case of the bottles also, sometimes uh, you may be able to reduce the bottle size even by a half. Don't get surprised. There are uh, umpteen uh, occasions. So you need to take a call uh, making the uh, prop packaging audit uh, and also re uh, reducing the headspace in the bottle by reducing the size. And also sometimes if the bottles are not uh, uh, mentioned for the direct patient use, so maybe pharmacy use, so you don't need the uh, a complex big uh, child distance uh, closures instead. Uh, Normal uh, continuous thread closures also can be used. And uh, as we are talking about HDP bottles also, you can reduce weight. If, if you have a proper study, you can always reduce weight also. So you need to focus. Adequate and optimum packaging is the, is the key. Several initiatives are there, avoiding uh, uh, palletization, et cetera. Direct shipping uh, is available even by um, by boat or by air also, uh, several methods are there. I think all these are uh, uh, very important. Uh, uh, and you can call, uh, it's a, it's not green packaging, but uh, it is, it's a sustainable way, sustainable way of uh, doing things. Uh, it's more important. The final contact between the drug and the patient, that's you. It's nothing but packaging because the, the physician is not at your home. The, the, the pharmacist is not at your home. What you're seeing is uh, what you're accessing the drug is through by way of a packaging. The challenges are many. Uh, uh, the future trends are, as I was telling you, more more towards the uh, patient centricity. I think uh, end of the day, I always believe uh, any innovation, any innovation, however great it might be, it has to help the mankind at large in the long term. See, as uh, we know that uh, there is a uh, increasing trend of uh, product, whether it is food or pharma, going to the consumer directly and every product for its protection and for its safe and secure delivery has to have a protective packaging over it. But the concern is that once the product is consumed, then we always throw the packaging material which is containing. Now the concern is that some of them are uh, degradable, some are not degradable and they take, that takes long time to get mixed with the environment and sometimes it creates uh, some kind of uh, hazards also. So we have to minimize the use of packaging. We cannot do away with the packaging. It is part and parcel of the product. Otherwise, the product cannot be safely delivered to the patient. So we have to find means and ways how we can optimize the use of packaging material. However, most of the activities are happening on the secondary tertiary packaging as well as palletization. So there we are reducing uh, or down gauging the quality of the uh, material so that the uh, optimum use is happening while using the uh, product 
not only in pharma product i can say every uh, industry has to come up and understand that uh, concern or not only optimization of the product packaging but at the same time we have to make the process simpler we have to make the uh, uh, production line more linear so that our cycle time also reduced so in this way we can uh, reduce the burden and increase the sustainability concern uh, uh, what is currently is a buzzword in the industry anything which is actually contributing to our ecology or economy that is always welcome and that is the primary tool for sustainability we cannot do away with the packaging we have to have it but we cannot compromise on the primary packaging too much because it is uh, linked with the productivity and product quality over the shelf life of the product so there the compromise cannot happen without backup stability data or ba backup uh, tangential data so this kind of things has to be developed and uh, through further study however secondary and tertiary packaging there are opportunities to optimize the packaging specification to a minimum possible impact on the environment innovation has two three different routes like material innovation process innovation and application innovation now material innovation does not happen overnight it requires lot of study so to find an alternate material replacing the existing takes longer time so but we cannot wait till then so that is why we have to improve the process innovate the process innovate the design and at the same time we have to do some kind of application development innovation of applications so that our overall consumption of the packaging material or its processing is optimized as with a minimum impact on ecology and economy yes to me i think not only pharma industry every industry is focusing nowadays sustainability and green packaging uh you know uh, pharma is uh, for, you know from years pharma is a very very responsible industry pharma uh, uh, look for the patient uh, pharma take care of uh, you know the well being of the people and also pharma is 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 something that's uh, that that also should take care of the environment so as far as packaging is concerned uh, sustainability is the key uh, uh, some of the companies uh, are already working on sustainability and then you know there are a lot of programs which are going on with respect to sustainability what way we can uh, you can reduce the burden to the environment what all the different uh, innovations are possible in packaging uh, to 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 counter the sustainability issues and these are all things and then on the other side green packaging okay so these are all challenges which are coming up on the way for packaging to actually get into the green packaging and all those stuff but i think the, there are some of the steps are already being taken the people they tried they started appreciating those green packaging and also of late it will come to pharma pharma um, uh, pharmaceutical products uh, uses also i think uh, that that's the way we should uh, uh, we we can look at uh, so i feel lot of importance in uh, in sustainability and green packaging in the in the future the emerging trends are coming up in the way you know coming up with the packaging material which are the with the biodegradable coming up with the packaging materials uh, uh, which are from the bio based and all those things although the packaging materials which are not and then they they are in a pilot and prototyping stage but they have a lot of good trends that that is being showing so these are all things which are at a very nascent stage uh, i think it's a long way to go but uh, probably i think the we have started well so so lot of uh, companies are working on on all these innovations i mean i i, I name a few name a few there are some uh, that are bio, bio based polymers and all those things so i think uh, uh, the the technologies are coming up and people are serious about it there are a couple of challenges one is uh, you know the cost of uh, of uh, the biopolymers being the new entrant to this industry is more so that could be a one of uh, the challenge cost and then implementation and you know the development of those uh, those things there is a cost involved in it and all those stuff so there are a lot of challenges with respect to cost implementation process timeline 
and all those stuffs and then the regulatory approval and all those stuff so these are all the few challenges but probably you know once we have the uh, materials on board all those challenges uh, can be looked up on see green packaging currently is the most talked about subject nowadays in the pharmaceutical sphere because people needs to be aware about the you know the evils that plastic packaging brings along with it so the surge in sustainable packaging is becoming taking relevance more and more of late sustainable packaging at the same time you know moving to a biodegradable source has its own flip sides also which could be attributed in some of the upcoming trends which the industry per se has to handle like if we are moving out from a plastic source to a biodegradable source it brings in its own disadvantages of microbial growth within the drug product also at the same time we should be conversant that what best we can do to achieve a median in sustainable packaging maybe we can reduce the extent of polymer that we used in our packaging components that will automatically reduce the consumption of plastic materials and thereby facilitate you know reduction of carbon footprints over here e labeling is one such very innovative thought which as packaging technologists we are pushing but it needs the blessings of the regulatory governance and the bodies actually because till today unfortunate part is the regulatory bodies have still not been able to accept the e labeling concept the e labeling concept not only helps in sustainability but it also ensures your patient compliance and quality compliance also from a sustainability point of view the switch from a halogen based film to a non halogen film film is something that we can look upon as a major trend setter when we come out from the conventional aluminum foil based blister to a flexible laminate actually instead of an aluminum foil but it also comes with its own disadvantages as a team as a technical team in association in collaboration with the vendor so we need to address those and probably in the days to come we are quite hopeful that such type of trends will be a trend certain in pharmaceutical packaging one is your counterfeiting is one such major menace which is coming up and secondly are the changing landscape of regulatory requirements actually wherein the pharmaceutical packaging team as a fraternity needs to think rethink and overcome the old school of thought and try and think innovative ways at the time of development itself so that we can handle the regulatory expectations and the quality expectations in an appropriate manner rather than expecting or getting rejections in our dossiers at a later point of time which could be fatal from a business perspective see uh, green and sustainable packaging uh, is needed and it is the most important thing at this point of time because everywhere uh, we have to save the earth first of all second uh, we have to manufacture medicines also in such a fashion so that it will be uh, sustainable for last right so here sustainability means we are now uh, having so many uh, multi layer dosage uh, 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 films are there blisters and other things are there maybe we can have to find some revolution idea right where uh, we can change over this to plastic bottles right we can we can we can go away with with, with, uh, with all this the second thing innovations right uh, suppose we are using uh, multi, uh, the single layer bottles right so we can have inner a uh, layer which is not virgin material it is virgin but not actual virgin material because it is uh, reusable right so those things can be changing the game pattern and there are many things which are coming uh, now and uh, with respect to the sustainable packaging which are the which are needed at this point of time patience easiness right so we have to keep patience uh, this all the patience on on the top then only we can we can we can we can see the things properly then uh, it should be easy to use right so uh, easy to use and easy uh, uh, easy to understand also right many things are not easy also and not patients are not not able to uh, read it properly the instructions as well as then they take the wrong medicine or the wrong dosage so those things should be avoided the major uh, at this point of time pharma sector is facing cost challenge so wherever the costs are going up from from the from the from the back end point of view and in the market the costs are coming down day 
year by year for and this is very much difficult for a generic organization where uh, we are not uh, uh, having a, any novel drug the generic drugs already the prices are coming down and and when we go to the market year by year there is 10 to 15 percent cost is coming down whereas from from the last two and a half years the prices of uh, of all the apis excipients packaging material is at a very rising trend which is which is alarming at, at, at this point of time so these are the major uh, i will say threats at this point of time see that uh, presently in a different form we are using a many plastic material in a current doses form like a blister packaging we are a different type of polymer combined in strip packaging their metal with a poly uh, polyethylene is combined to be used. We generate a lot of uh, plastic material which is difficult to recycle. That's why pharma industry is thinking to change the trend to the sustainable packaging where the blister and strip form can be changed to a bottle, plastic bottle, so that the monopolymer can be used or monofilms can be used so that it can be easily recyclable. There is a lot of a uh, trend like a changes in a doses form is happening actually like a conventional tablet form material is changed to the transdermal form or either inhalation form actually where the plastic material consumption will be reduced actually and a patient can directly inhale the powder in the powder from a powder from a device or either from the patches actually so this will also help in a reduction in a packaging material consumption pharma industry should be focused on sustainable packaging because first is the primary is the environmental free packaging is required and uh, lot of composite packaging materials are there across various doses from different packaging materials are used and different packaging systems are used which have different materials across the dosage form different materials are used and that's why the need for sustainable packaging material is developed and it is a prime priority as of now the emerging trends are the like you know the dosing devices are there a lot of dosing devices are coming and which has different different materials which are like you know those are not plastics or and mostly those are elastomers and those are combination of elastomers and plastics that is why the uh, this is the, the new trend coming on